GDOT can be applied to many combinations of unit operations to optimize the production of specific products of a refinery, such as aromatics, gasoline, and middle distillate products. GDOT can also be used to optimize hydrogen networks. GDOT can be used to optimize the production of aromatics. When using it for this purpose, GDOT will coordinate the crude distillation unit, the naphtha hydrotreater, the reformers, aromatic extractors, distillation and dealkylation units using a pseudo-component model, simplified reaction models, and shortcut distillation. The objectives of the GDOT model is to maximize the highest value products, optimize reformer operating conditions and feed boiling range to maximize BTEX utilization and aromatics yield, and to reduce off-spec production. GDOT achieves these objectives by adjusting light and heavy naphtha cut points, feed allocation between parallel units, and the operating conditions of reforming and extraction units. Using GDOT to optimize your aromatic production can increase high-value aromatic production by 5%. GDOT can also optimize a refinery for gasoline production. This application expands on the scope for the aromatic application. GDOT coordinates the crude distillation unit, naphtha hydrotreaters, reformers, the fluidized catalytic cracker, and gasoline blending using a pseudo-component model, simplified reaction models, and shortcut distillation, or a proprietary high-level model similar to a planning linear programming model. GDOT controls these units to maximize gasoline production, volume gain, and use of low-cost components, to maximize utilization of units that are production bottlenecks by optimizing composition and feed quality, and to meet final tank specification with minimum quality giveaway by considering current tank quality and volume or by managing blend component tank qualities in inventory. GDOT achieves these objectives by controlling the light and heavy naphtha cuts, feed allocation between parallel units, operating conditions of reforming and fluidized catalytic crackers, and light and heavy gasoline cuts. A typical benefit of using GDOT to optimize your gasoline production is a reduction of quality giveaway. GDOT can also be used to optimize middle distillate production. When used for this purpose, GDOT will coordinate CDUs and vacuum distillation units, hydrodesulfurization units, hydrocrackers, and blenders of diesel and jet fuel. When used for this purpose, GDOT maximizes the highest value products, volume gain, and use of low cost feeds and utilization of production bottlenecks. GDOT also reduces wild naphtha recycles and off spec production. GDOT also meets final tank specification with minimum quality giveaway. GDOT achieves these objectives by controlling cut points on the CDU. Hydrocracker, FCC, and the Coker. GDI also controls the unit feed rate targets, blend recipes, and feeds from the inventory. A typical benefit of using GDI in this capacity is a 10% increase in middle distillate production. Another application of GDI is conversion area optimization. When optimizing conversion area, GDI coordinates the CDU, VDU, Coker, Hydrocracker, and the fluidized catalytic cracker. GDOT maximizes the utilization of bottleneck downstream units and optimizes the FCC feed pool quality. GDOT reaches these two objectives by controlling the CDU and VDU feeds, VGO cut points, HCU reactor severity, FCC reactor severity, and the gasoline cut points. A benefit of this application is a significant increase in conversion and volume gain. A fourth refinery application for GDOT is optimization of a hydrogen network. In this application, GDOT coordinates producers and consumers of hydrogen, purification units, and compressors across the refinery. In this mode, GDOT minimizes the overall cost of hydrogen production, increases lower quality hydrogen utilization, reduces hydrogen losses to the vent and fuel gas system, minimizes losses from purification units, minimizes electricity consumption, and, when supply is limited, prioritize and maximize consumption subject to availability. Benefits of this application are a 50% reduction of hydrogen losses to flare, vents, and fuel gas, and a 2-5% to increase of throughput of hydrogen consumers when hydrogen supply is tight. Along with refinery applications, GDOT can also be applied to ethylene production. In this example, GDOT is using models from APC controllers, a PIMS AO planning model, and Spiro furnace yield models. The schematic shows a data flow between the DCS, APC, and GDOT. Starting with the DCS, the base control reads inputs and writes outputs to and from the field. The APC controllers send set points to the DCS loops to maintain unit constraints and quality while reducing energy use. The APC controllers, through external targets, are also maintaining GDOT optimization outputs. 
As mentioned earlier, GDOT is using a PIMS-AO model along with economic parameters while updating model parameters and true plant constraints in the PIMS-AO model. You can also see that both PIMS-AO and GDOT are using the same furnace yield model for consistency. When using GDOT to optimize ethylene production, it can consider every unit in the plant, such as those seen at right. If multiple ethylene trains exist on one site, GDOT can optimize while considering both trains. Using GDOT to optimize ethylene production has many benefits, such as increasing throughput by 2 to 5%, increasing selectivity by 1 to 2%, increasing recovery by 2 to 3%, and a 5 to 10% reduction in energy consumption. More generally, GDOT can coordinate and optimize several units across multiple ethylene trains and improve overall value chain margin. All told, implementing GDOT can lead to an additional $6 to $10 per metric ton.